cannot tell you how happy I am to be back in it. This is the first time that I've ever driven a and now I own one. I'm like an inch away from getting piles. Hello, welcome to Car Throttle. My name is Alex and the car standing behind me is my temporary daily, the Suzuki Vitara 2 litre V6. It's not so much of a daily at the moment because it's not currently working. All I'm getting at the moment is that. Not cranking over. I have a feeling that it's the starter motor or a solenoid. No idea how that's come about. But here we are. So the conclusion is that I need a temporary daily for my temporary daily. So that's why I went on Instagram and I asked you guys to let me know what you've got for sale for under 500 pounds. And there's one guy who has answered all of my prayers. So Jack and I behind the camera, we're gonna go and pick it up. Any idea what it is? Didn't think so. And here it is, my new daily driver. It is an E46 Compact. It's a car that we've been uh, we've been talking about a lot on the channel, isn't it, Jack? Anyway, the current owner, soon to be ex-owner, is Jack. How are we doing? Very good. Good to see you, Jack. You, uh, you actually DM'd me and said we could have this car for 350 British pounds. Yeah. Tell me the story. How long have you had it? and why so cheap? Oh, I've had it for the total of three days. During the three days, it started every single time. <laughs> and good things, it's got really good tyres. Mismatch, obviously. But you know, you've got your Pirelli and your Hankook, which are the, are the best tyres in the world. So, you know, you've got them there. And it's got the patina look. It's got, you know, the BMW individual paintwork, which I is obviously, it. you know, worth at least another 350 quid. The lacquer is, it is what it is. But apart from that, it looks like a clean car. Looking at the rear arches, I can't see any rust. Yeah, which is unlike... That's, that's very rare. And, uh, yeah, very rare for yourself. Oh, oh, oh. oh Jesus. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Holy f***. F***ing hell. This is what Phil now looks like. He looks completely buggered. Yeah, oh yeah, exactly, yeah. And it's a, it's a 316, isn't it? It's a 316, so it's the one with the least power, which is always the best one. But it has all the creature comforts inside. It's got the teared seat, got your shiny knob. Yeah, M Sport gear knob. It's got cruise control, for crying out loud. It's actually got auto lights to squeak, which oh. is brilliant. And also, it's got electric windows on the back. Oh, the pop-out ones? They pop out. And everything works? Everything works inside. This was owned by an old boy before, uh, from new. And then it was bought out by a kid who worked at a garage for a project. He then went on to buy a Clio 182, which I know you guys have got experience nice. with. Sat for a year. My friend Steve, he, he came along and he, um, he put 5,000 miles on it since. He's done a full service, rocker cover gaskets, the regular things that they go yeah, wrong yeah. on. Think of this as a precursor to a one series because yeah. it's got a hatchback. Yeah. Um, Look but, at this. but you've got your bag for your chicken. In fact, you know those like chicken roast, roast bags things? Oh yeah, get yeah. them all the time. Get one of them, but just put a steamer in there roasty chicken in there on, on oh, your drive. I love how he thinks. Yeah, and you've even got all the BMW original kit and toolkit underneath here. Brakes and clutch are perfect, spot on. They don't have an issue with them whatsoever. Um, it has a small, from what the engine codes are telling me, variable timing issue, which in second gear, if you floor it, it'll like hesitate for a second and then it will go. Yeah. But it's the only trouble it has with it. Should we do the Ethan test? Do you know what the Ethan oh, test Oh yeah, is? the milky test. Should we do the milk test just for you, Ethan? Right, if, I mean, obviously it's got the grill that's slightly loose, which is... Oh yeah, I had that on my uh, E46 330 as well. Ethan, you're going to have to decide if uh, I buy this car or not. It's actually attached. Look at that. Another little design cue I've never seen before. I think, Ethan, we're all right, yeah? We're all right, Eth? Lovely, jubbly pucker. It is what it is. It's, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, for 350 quid, I don't think we can argue. So, Jack, what do you say we pay the man Jack 350 quid? and then go for a drive. Yeah. Um, Once I've paid you, then you can tell me everything that's wrong with it. Yep, sounds good to me. Cool, all right. For now, let's pay the man. Transition. Right then, here we are in my 350 pound BMW. Cannot tell you how happy I am to be back in an E46. And this is the first time that I've ever driven a compact and now I own one, so I better like it. Power, about 114, so it's not gonna be fast. Nor to 60. Don't really care, probably going to be about 11 seconds, but that's not what this car is about. It is floaty, it's compact, because it's called a compact. It's 
it's good, right? They thought of that, the Germans. That exhaust, naughty, quite naughty. Something's not right there. The gearbox is good, the brakes are strong, the steering is nice, the tracking is on point as well. There's nothing in here that makes me think, huh, I'm a little bit worried I'm not gonna get home. This car, 100%, is gonna get me home. It looks clean, it's got a multi-function steering wheel. I've got cruise control for crying out loud in a car that costs, remember, 350 pounds. This has gotta be one of my strongest purchases of 2021. What's more, the recent MOT history doesn't look too terrible either, with the prerequisite BMW oil leak being noted, as well as things like indicators not working, a dodgy parking brake, and worn tires. Suspension is good, there are no knocks, the tires are good. Everything just feels completely on point. It feels safe, it feels solid. There's no rust as well. An E46 with no rust is as rare as rocking horse shit. Exciting? It is not, but that's not what it's about. It's gonna be cheap to insure, it's gonna be economical. I think this is a uh, pretty bang on first car for anyone looking for something uh, a little bit different. And it's rear wheel drive, which is cool. While we're on the subject of fuel economy, the Compact achieved just over 38 mpg on the motorway drive home. And a quick insurance quote revealed a price of £1,800 for the year for me as a 21-year-old living at home in London. I'm not getting any of the uh, Valvetronic issues. At the moment, they might rear their ugly head. Which predictably it did with the engine light illuminating after around 50 miles. The car still drives fine though, so I'm not too worried. Inside, it feels fresh, it looks clean. It's a car that doesn't goad you to drive fast, which, you know, at my age, I'm 36. I'm all about that these days. I want comfort, all right? I'm like an inch away from getting piles. That is the, <laughs> the the temperature gauge is absolutely happy. Fuel economy seems okay. All the lights are working. Hold on a second, what's that? Jane, we've never met before and apparently it's your 60th birthday. So on the off chance that you are watching this from me and everyone at Car Throttle, have a great day. I've gelled with it so much, I think we've got to give it a name. What about something like Kenny, Kenny Compact? Yeah? Okay. Does that sound good? Now, I've actually got a little bit of trivia for you guys. This is the 316i. There was also a 318, a 320 petrol, a 320 diesel, and the range topping 325 straight six compact, which was awesome. There was also, which you may not know about, a Hartka tuned 4.7 litre V8 version of this car. You can find out more about that on the website. There's a link in the description below. And also, a car like this, the tuning potential is massive. Can do suspension mods really easily, exhaust mods really easily, styling mods really easily, because there's so much aftermarket for these cars. And because I'm in a BMW, I just made someone in a Volkswagen pull over for me. Yeah. There's nothing more to be said about it. It's clean, it's tidy. We're gonna have a good time, Kenny and I. Yeah, plus MOT for almost a year. Bargain basement, awesome driver territory right here. And it sounds pretty rorty as well for a four pot. <laughs> I like it, yeah! Anyway, over to you guys now. We have got an E46 compact. Let me know in the comments what you wanna see. If you wanna see more of a kind of in-depth review, we can do that as well because I think this is um, perfect first car territory, first proper car territory, what with it being uh, rear wheel drive. Right, so there you go. There is a quick look at my brand new BMW 316i Compact E46. Super happy to be back in the BMW gang. Yes. Anyway, if you want to see more on this car, then make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link. And don't forget to watch more videos over there. Hope you guys have a great week. From Kenny and I, bye. Come here, you. Oh.